Have you ever had anyone give you a loving hand up? It's a wonderful gesture. It's like, here I am, let me help you. Perhaps to get up or to, to follow me or to just walk alongside me. It says in Psalms 31 verse 5, Unto your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. You may think that following divine guidance leaves little for you to do. But I tell you, just the opposite is true. It calls on you to make a commitment to follow God. And sometimes that uh, requires some courage because God's ways are not always your ways or the way that you have thought about going for a long time. This is a commitment that is pure and it's sacred. What is in order and fulfilling in this? Well, the order is that you'll go out of the chaos that you've been in and you'll be fulfilled in ways that you can't even imagine in human mind. You confirm your commitment in prayer. So I ask you right now, if you're ready to pray with me. Dear God, I entrust myself and all that is in the past all that is in the present and all that is in my future to you. And I know that from this commitment, I will discover greater understanding of you, dear God, of myself and of my world. God, you offer me unlimited freedom and opportunity as well as courage and wisdom. God, wherever you guide me, I will follow. I thank you, for your way, dear God, is the way of peace and love and life. In Jesus Christ's name, we commit ourselves. Amen.